started launching model rockets uh, about the fourth or maybe the fifth grade and it's a hobby that has stuck with me for over 40 years. This is a smaller one. Uh, we just want to play around and have a little bit of fun. This is what we play with. This rocket is probably about 30 years old, but uh, we still like to fly it from time to time. Uh, this project here is one that I launched uh, in 1995. It weighed 135 pounds. We put it a mile in the air and picked it up 50 yards from the launch pad. Yeah, that, that was fun. But this one's three times as tall as that. Well, yeah, about twice as tall. But it's a whole lot heavier. Uh, this is going to take an entire crew to get it up in the air. It's built from plywood, mostly, fiberglass, steel, aluminum. I mean, there's a lot of things in it. I had to come up with the right materials that make it strong enough to handle the motors, but yet not too strong to, to uh, be too heavy when I was all finished with it. So I've reached a happy medium here. I've had some uh, semi-professional people looked at it and they said they're ready to go. It's one of the uh, biggest rockets ever built. Now we just got to get it up in the air and get it back on the ground. And could you talk briefly about the record? If this goes up successfully, would this set a record for model rockets? Uh, this should set a record. Uh, to my knowledge, the largest successful flight of a model rocket is in about the 1,300 pound range. So we beat that by three or 400 pounds. However, the gentleman that I'm breaking his record says he's going to have to build one bigger than this. So I'm going to have to help him with that project. But it's just uh, everybody's got to beat the next guy type of thing. And that, that's what's fun. And you said you have some sponsors for this also? Yes, I, uh, I have uh, Rockets Magazine, which is uh, similar to like a golf digester, or outdoor sports or whatever. They center on the rocket hobby. Uh, they are sponsoring me and they've done a wonderful job with uh, websites and uh, getting some funding options going for this. The cost of the motors to fly this rocket is about $13,000. And they have a program set up through this website that you can donate a motor, you can donate to the flight. Uh, a lot of ways we're going to come up with some other fundraising uh, t-shirts and hats and we just want to fly it and uh, with the help of everybody it's going to happen. In the last question, are there a lot of things that could go wrong with this rocket and does that worry you that one little misstep or one thing you didn't maybe triple check the whole thing could go up in smoke? I know it's funny. Uh, I'm a space buff, of course, imagine that, but uh, watching NASA's programs on Science Channel and, and some of their documentaries, they say that one in ten unmanned NASA rockets will explode, and they can live with that. And what that's saying is not that they're not doing their best to, to make it all happen, but there's just so many variables in a rocket, even as big as this, there are variables, but the bigger they get, the more complex they get the more variables can go wrong. We could have some problems. There's no guarantees. But I have a team of experts that we're going to double and triple check everything five times over just to make sure that to the best of our abilities we're going to get it up and down safely.